tutorial number three on T-Put. Today we're going to be looking at two things, very simple things, reversing colors, so making the background the color of the foreground and the foreground the color of the background. And we're also going to be looking at how to make font bold inside the terminal using T-Put. So, first thing we're going to do is let's type T-Put clear. And it's always good to start with that uh, to clear out any T-Put settings there may be and to clear the screen. Um, and let's look at reversing the color. So all you have to do is T-Put R-E-V for reverse. And then we can say echo this is my title. And I'll hit enter and you can see it reversed the color it put the green as the background and the black as the foreground and it continued to do so with our prompt here. To prevent that from happening we can add another command at the end, so a semicolon for a new command T put SGR0. I really have no clue what that stands for. I probably should have looked it up before the tutorial. If anyone knows they can comment below. Um, but that should prevent our command prompt from changing color as well because you can see that's reversed as well. It has the dark green as the background and the blue as the foreground. Hit enter and you can see that it did the same thing this time but didn't reverse the colors here. As you can see that happens when I highlight it. So that is reversing colors. Let's clear the screen and let's do T put and clear new command T put and what we're going to put this time is let's type things right is very simple we're going to type bold and that will make the next line printed bold so we'll say echo this is bold text and I'll hit enter and you can see the font is bold if I just do echo th uh, this is bold text and hit enter you can see that this is hopefully it shows up in the video after everything's compressed it definitely is uh, a bold color up here as opposed to just the plain text so that is reversing colors and making font bold um, so next tutorial we're going to write out a full script using everything we've learned and we're going to create a nice looking menu that uh, your users can choose options from the menu and uh, move your script down from there. So keep on watching. Visit bashscripts.info or filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, rating, and commenting. Have a great day.